Peace, love, and light, my dear Aries. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is I, a butterfly. And I'm here to give you this energy reading. Could be talking about love, career, whatever. I'm just going to pull the cards, and I'm going to let it tell a story. I'm going to title it as it goes. Um, remember, this is a general reading, so that means that some things may resonate with you, while other things may not, or this very well may not be your story. But I'm hoping this reading can give you some energy of love and light, to give you some support, to give you some clarity. It could be talking about anything. Thing, I will specify when I title this for this uh, to be posted on my channel. If you like this reading, uh, after you listen to it, subscribe to your girl, support your girl. Because when you subscribe to my channel, you encourage me to put out more videos for my dear Aries Nation. Support your girl. So I want to go into what you possibly are going through right now. This could be on a career, financial level. It could be on the love level. It could be both. I will give you a translation of both if I see both. If I only see one thing, then I'll deal with that alone. But you'll know by the title what it is. So I'm pulling some Moonology cards, my dears. We have your hard work is paying off. Okay. Emotions are running high. You are good enough. So right now you're in a position. It looks like you're in some sort of position where you feel a little run down and you feel like giving up and you just you're kind of irrational right now. But it's saying to me that your emotions are running high, but it will all pay off in the end. And you are good enough. Maybe you're not loving yourself or you feel like, you know, you're self doubting or whatever. Whatever the case is, it's saying that that don't pay attention to that energy. That eventually, there's this all will, will come to an end. It will all come to a head. Okay. I'm gonna pull some cards from my spirit oracles, and then we're gonna do the tarot. Okay, so we could try to pinpoint what's going on and see how this is all connected. Emotional breakthrough. Emotional transform transformation release freedom. It is safe for you to express how you feel. Let it all out. Relationship deepens as a result. Okay, you're going through an emotional breakthrough right now. Reflections. Reflect upon, bless, and be grateful for all the beautiful times in your life. Give thanks for the many blessings you receive each day. You can connect energetically to those you love. Simply feel them in your heart. Life is beautiful. Emotions are running high. Mm. Heart's desire. You are being you are being showered with love. Your time of waiting will soon be over. All your heart's deepest desires will be fulfilled. So it's saying your heart your hard work will pay off. And it says all your deepest desires will be fulfilled. Emotions are running high. Emotional transformation is telling you to release something. And then it says you are good enough. It says reflect upon the blessings that you have and be grateful. Okay. So we're going to go to the tarot to find out from my spirit, or is it um, healing light tarot? Uh, just tell me what's going on. You know, it's going to just pull some energy of what's going on, okay? Now, this could be talking about you just in general or somebody you're dealing with. Like I said, love or work, but it looks like this might be just a self-healing thing. Or it might be love. We'll just see, okay, my dear Aries? Mm. 
Mm. These all fell out. I'm just going to take them. Okay. Okay, I'm not seeing this as, it could be finances, but I'm not going to say it's finances. What I see here is a person who is trying to move on from a difficult time in their life. I got the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Wands in reverse, the Devil card, the Seven of Swords, the Ace of, of, of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Emperor. It's saying that, that's why it's saying that, that, uh, that it's going to pay off in the end. Your emotions are running high. It's going to pay off in the end. Okay. What else to say? You are good enough. Yes, you are. Right now, you might be battling addictions. You might be battling addictions right now. You're going through a very rough time in your life or you're just at a very low point and you feel like there's no way out of this. But it's saying that there is a way that that it looks like there you're going to get help. You're going to get help for healing. And you're going to confront your fears. You're going to confront the things like you may be like, I feel like you're beating yourself up about something that you really didn't have any control over. It's saying it's time for you to move forward. You know, with that seven of, of swords in reverse, it's saying that coming clean, like acknowledging and accepting things for what they are. The devil card, like you got the the, the uh, nine of one. Uh, it's dropping it, letting it go. You don't have any more fight it left in you for this. Like you're ready to move on. The eight of wands is saying you are ready to put this shit behind you, whatever it is. Like you're acknowledging the part that you played in it, whatever the case is. It's saying that it's time to move on. It's time to put this behind you and move on. And then we got the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. So it's saying that there's somebody, possibly a father figure in your life, somebody who's older than you, a masculine, possibly an Aries like yourself, or if that's representing your energy. And then we have the Magician here, Gemini and Virgo energy. It's saying that taking responsibility and control over one's life overcoming one's battles with addictions and willing to open yourself up to work with people like you're like in a transition in your life like you're trying to gain your power back with that emperor and that magician those are powerful energies it's saying that emperor and that magician is going to defeat that devil but it's saying that you have to allow people to help you three of wands the two of pentacles and the ace of wands you have to allow people to come in to help you to become the person that you need to become you have to really just allow yourself to say hey okay i need help sometimes we need help and it's saying if you do this look at that the world card and the five of pentacles if you choose not to the cycle repeats itself if you choose to ask for help or you need help, then change will come. That means that you will finish out the cycle. Right now, you are in the loop of some sort of situation. But it's saying eventually it'll pay off. That it looks like you have people around you who are willing to either give you financial or mentorship or some sort of psychotherapy possibly. Somebody who's older than you or um, it's saying that this that you're going to be confronting that devil if you are battling addictions or you've just been in like a very hard space in your life that okay that you will be 
overcoming those obstacles. Eventually, you have to face your fears. You have to face that damn devil and conquer it. Mm -hmm. Stop running away from your problems. Face the fears. Step outside your comfort zone. The Hierophant is here. The Hierophant is normally a counselor. You've probably been told a lot of times that you need to get some counseling to help you with your situation. It's time to get real with yourself. When you get real, then your situation will change. If you choose not to get real, then your situation will say the same. Sun card, what I tell you. You may need counseling. You have been avoiding this for quite some time. It's, it looks like you're having a wake-up aha moment that you're ready to get help. And it looks like you're going to get help. And there's going to be a turnaround in your life. If this is your story, my dear Aries, let me know in the comment section below. Um, as I always say, I'm sending you healing, love, light, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you from heart chakra to yours. This is not necessarily, this looks like a self-healing journey. You know, if you're battling addictions, that you can overcome it, but you have to ask for help. You have to lower your defenses, allow yourself to get help. Um, everything's going to be all right eventually. Okay. So, um, if this is your story and you're just going through some hard times right now, that devil energy just could say you have been going through some hard ass times and you are exhausted. Okay. But it's saying, ask for help. If you need help, ask for help. And that this time will eventually, like eventually if you put in the work, it'll pay off for you. Okay. All right. I don't know if I've already done it. Peace, love, and light from each and one of you from heart chakra to yours. I will catch you all in the next reading. As always, hey, peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.